going on the front. So, new bumper, your new Lucas spotlight, grill, new lights, new tripod, headlights, new badges. Here. Nice gap between the bonnet and the front panel. Chrome. Nice bonnet catches. All coming up to here. New chrome windscreen stanchions. New windscreen, new rubbers, new wipers. Nice gap all the way around. Coming back here, new hood. All new poppers. Going down, nice gaps around the doors again, nothing protruding, it's nice new handles, new trim, doors open nicely, shut nicely. Looking inside, new door panels, new screws, new catches, new trim, new chrome top, new locks, new hinges, new bolts, new rubbers. Looking inside the car, this side, new seats, leather, nice, new springs, uh, seat belts, which are the lap straps that goes over. These are in black and you can have them done in green, but they're special order, which we just found out. We can always look into that if you wanted it doing and we can always send them up to you. They're easy to fit, two bolts. So we'll come to that if you if you dis, did decide you want that. But the black goes with the black frame. So um, right, coming back, shut the door. Take the polish off the trim. So new aluminium stone guards. New chrome again. New boot hinges. Again, good gaps. New rack <laughs> with bolts, new petrol cap, new boot lock inside the boot, new rubber, new tonneau cover, new hood cover. These are vinyl and they stretch when they get warm. So to fit them at the moment, they are tight, but we've had them on. You'll find that they might need warming up when you come to fit them or hopefully it'll be sunny. Um, yeah, all good in the boot, all nice, boot shuts nice, sticks up a little bit here but the rubber is new and when it goes down you'll be able to adjust it down in six months time, it'll go down a little bit but I can't do no more because it's a new rubber. Um, new badges, spare wheel is in behind there, new rubber, spare wheel is a 15 painted because you can't put the wider ones because there ain't no room it won't fit in there so it has to be that wheel there's uh, a new jack and a new hammer that i've ordered that i'm going to send to you because i haven't got them here but they'll they'll turn up in the post so new overriders and bolts new back lights again and brake re-chromed new seat runners and bolts um, looking inside I mean it's all pretty obvious what it is it's all new right sitting in the car okay if you have a look at the dashboard so we've got a nice side mirror here that clips on here which gives you good vision You've got your mirror on the back here, which is nice. Nice steering wheel. So we've got turn ignition on. Indicator right tells a telltale up there. Indicator left, telltale up there. That's your pull over drive. That's your fog light. There's your washers. Can't remember. Main beam switch. Oh, that's your main beam switch. Right. So that's what that is. Rev counter has been sent off and, and overhauled, so it doesn't flick. Speedo has done the same and has been calibrated to your gearbox. We've done 72 mile. The weather's changed a bit now and that's all I'm doing. I'm quite happy now. I would drive it to you. 
Um, the right, what we got here? I'll start it a minute. Ready to get handbrake on. Don't forget on the old handbrakes, you probably know because you've had plenty of cars, but you've got the fly off handbrake, so you pull it and then it goes. You pull it up and then you push the button down. It's the opposite to a modern handbrake. Um, starter. Oh, we've got horn. Nice horn, which is there. Chrome button. And starter. I'll get in the car. Now the gear. So, fuel gauge, half a tank, I've used a bit, temperature gauge, all works fine, that'll go up, if I turn it off man, so I don't shout. Yeah, it makes life a bit easier. Yeah. Temperature gauge will go up to 185, and then you've got a switch from the Kenlo fan that'll cut in, and it'll keep it at 185 and no more. So, I can't see. Um, side lights, pull and then twist and pull for head okay and then with that that's it panel lights wipers push starter which you just seen so same choke pull it push it in i'm telling you obvious things the amps gauge because these were originally dynamo they only went up to 30 minus 30 and plus 30. now their alternator which is 60 so the amp gauge doesn't work it will stay in the middle like that you can't make it work because obviously it's it should be up to 60 and could melt it so you you leave it in the middle and it's just to look at really oil pressure gauge works perfectly up 70 uh down to 50 it tick over so that's good um glove box new glove box all opens with a key nice and easy he says taking his key out <laughs> um, right, what else can I tell you? Put the right key in there and think. Uh, yeah. Um, and the cables on the handles to get out. Again, obvious stuff. All this you already know. Right. Get out of the car. That'll be the hardest bit. That's door gaps. Let's gaps all the way around there. Nice. Right, taking the hood off. So, should we take the hood off yeah. together? Or? Yeah, yeah, they're all quite tight though. These poppers on the yeah. dash, on the top of the windscreen, because yeah. they're all new. It's all very, very tight. Yeah. You're on that side. They're, they're all done, look. Yeah. Let's pop the backs off. Right, once you've got the hood off, hood off. frame, frame collapses in. Good. Now hold it there. Yeah, uh, this line, yeah. You've got these little bits here, yeah. that you pop in and swing right around. And then you swing it right around, go. frame sits in nicely. So, there you go, and that looked good. Um, Alright, nothing else to see in there really. Petrol's pretty obvious, as you know. Right, taking the bonnet undone. We need that. We do that. that springs up. Okay, there. That's it. Put that in the pocket. Lift it down. And lift up. And clip. And put it somewhere where it's meant to go. Oh, there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, under here, self-explanatory really, there's your clutch servo, it says it all, all nice in here, beautiful, wipers nice, all good, 
That's it. Yeah. Mm. Little things, dipstick. Dipstick. Water. I'll see click. Brake fluid over there. Electronic ignition. Um, it's a heat valve tap, which we just leave in the full position, don't need to touch it. Yeah. Narrow belt conversion down there with alternator. Alternator's down there. Right. I'd say that was it, wouldn't you? Don't look that hard, is it? No. So, that's it. John, that's it from me. So, what? And I'm Joe. And that's Joe, because <laughs> you haven't seen <laughs> him. I haven't seen him before. <laughs> So I will, uh, I'll speak to you um, Monday to say yeah. what time he's coming.